Hey everybody, welcome to the journey. Welcome to the journey to Forever Fit. I am Heather Williams here with what H said. And before we get into what H is saying today, please subscribe to the channel. If you've already subscribed, thank you, thank you. It is much appreciated. And make sure you click the notification bell so you know the next time H has something to say. All right, so let's jump into sweating today. I actually thought when I hit the uh, record button, I was thinking I probably should have done this after a workout so you could see your girl sweats. But most of y'all already know that, or if you don't know that, you will know that. I'm a sweater. If you've done a class with me, be it live stream or in person, if you are in a training session with me and I'm working out alongside of you, or if you've happened to catch a video here, maybe on my um, Instagram channel or on my on-demand library, everywhere I go, I leave a trail of sweat. I know that kind of, that sounds kind of disgusting, doesn't it? <laughs> I do clean up after myself. The point being is I sweat. I don't perspire. I don't glow. I don't glisten. I don't glitter. I don't sparkle. I sweat. And this fit tip is to get you if you consider it glittery and glowing and sparkling, that's very nice. That's very cute. But I want you to embrace sweat because sweat is good. We want to earn that cool down at the end of the of a workout. We want to earn our showers at the end of a workout. Sweating is good. Now, many of us already know that sweat is the body's natural way of cooling itself off. But what you probably didn't know is that if we did not sweat, if we did not have the ability to pers perspire, um, which is really the scientific word, I just like the grit, the grit sound of sweat. If we didn't perspire, um, our bodies would overheat with a moderate level of activity in uh, 10 to 12 minutes. So there is a necessity to it, but also sweating helps us release toxins. And while we're releasing toxins, we're also increasing our endorphins. We're increasing our metabolic rate. And this is something that I didn't know until recently. And I thought it was really interesting. So one of the ways to prevent muscle cramps is from sweating, which kind of sounded in, uh, counterintuitive to me when I was reading that, because we think, well, if I'm dehydrated and I've sweat too much and I'm you know, my muscles will cramp up. But the body, this magnificent machinery that we're all walking around with, actually is able to, so the more you exercise, the more you work out, the more you condition your body for different things. So you're conditioning your regulatory system to go, oh, 99% of sweat is water, 1% is sodium. But the more you work out and the more you sweat, the more efficient your body becomes in preserving or conserving that sodium. And so you're no longer depleted, providing that your diet is healthy and you're staying hydrated and all those other wonderful things. But yeah, so your body will learn not to eliminate what it actually needs. And I just thought that that was really, really fascinating because we typically think of if I'm not hydrated enough, I will get cramps. And there's some truth in that. I mean, it is like anything else, there's balance in it. But I just thought that it was really interesting that that is how efficient our bodies are. Okay, so repeat after me. I sweat. Okay, I've got CNC Music Factory. And I guess I have just dated myself by saying that. In my head going, everybody sweat now. Okay, gonna make you sweat. Yes, so I want you to go grab a workout, go outside with a soul focus, not on how many miles, not on uh, how many steps. Can we just break a good sweat? All right, friends. So that's it for this fit tip. That's all H has to say about sweating. Again, like, share. I want to build a fitness community. Um, so like, share, and thank you in advance. Make sure you're subscribed. And again, click that notification bell so you get the next time H has something to say. Bye for now.